Yeah, brand safety hasn't been a conversation just this week. It's been ongoing for the last two plus years. And um, what we've brought to the table is a new product called Studio 71 Context, which combines both AI technology as well as individual human review, scanning our own published content within the walls of Studio 71. Um, it's very important that we have this product out in market because as you said this week, everyone has been talking about the importance of brand safety. And for us, it's the AI piece can scan for keywords both on the image and on the closed caption data. However, it takes a human being to actually review content based on the context of the video to also look for things that may be disturbing behavior that show up in um, different videos. So the context product is complementary to going publisher direct Studio 71 and with having our own produced content, it's the additional layer of assurance that brands know that not only are they pushing this content out, they know that the safety tool has already run before we serve an ad against that. It's interesting, right? Because within this platform specifically, anything social, but specifically YouTube, the way that we monetize is everything has to run through a brand safety um, protocol prior to, we, uh, prior to Studio 71 serving an ad against that, right? So the way that the waterfall works within a media buying platform is it can be monetized a multitude of different ways. It can be monetized in auction right away if there's a viral, viral video. It could be monetized through Google or other third party resellers of content. However, for us and for other publishers like us, um, it's very important and I think clients and um, agencies are becoming more savvy to go direct to the source. So they're not running run of network, run of YouTube, run of um, audience type, spot, type buys. They wanna buy the ABC, NBC and Fox of YouTube content. And that's where we've seen a lot of success. And also tying back to the brand safety piece is Specific advertisers have different requirements than others, right? CPGs may have a different set of requirements than retail brands or financial brands. So this is where our product really comes into play. Scanning for very specific RFP related uh, brand safety concerns that our brands have. Well, it's interesting, right? The brands that we've been working with are typically the brands that are the hardest to crack to shift dollars over to a new a newer platform, specifically when it comes to media sales. And the reason that it's worked so well for us is that we only work with um, a few hundred creators rather than hundreds of thousands of creators. We don't aggregate our supply, we go direct to the source. Um, and we do different formats that work for an individual audience, right? And we've seen a lot of success Obviously it's not mass volume, but it's a niche group of advertisers that are working with us that this publisher direct offering um, provides to them. Yeah, the top categories for us right now are the CPGs, um, retail and entertainment companies um, that are generally very family friendly, um, very brand safe, cautious. Um, we've been working more and more with uh, the financial category um, as well as telecom. And we'd like to grow um, also some of our uh, entertainment business uh, along with some of that financial business because I think that's where the brands are becoming um, more concerned about potentially running against um, non-brand safe content.